Hello everyone. So, back in the workshop. Been a while, I know. Got a new mic. Got an external mic now, so hopefully the audio is going to be better than it used to be. Basically. Because I tend to find with the GoPro, as soon as I start an engine up, audio cuts completely out. And obviously while I'm working away, if I've got the camera on the workbench, it bumps about quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, we've got a machine to work on today. Uh, but before we get into that video, I've uh, got a few stickers coming. So I'll get them done, and then we get into the video, shall we? So we've got uh, two stickers here from Grampy's Workshop. We've got that one, and we've got that one. And we've got two stickers from Bold Eagle. 242. Both the channels will be down in the description. So if you haven't got them already, go check them out. They are brilliant channels. Bold Eagle, he does a lot of small engine repairs. And Grampy's Workshop, he does well small engines and all sorts. He he works on so many different things, and it is really a very nice channel to watch. Well they both are. So I will get those ones up on the sticker board. Um, and we'll get on with this video. This is a very long intro. <laughs> Alrighty, so this one is very much a long awaited repair. I've had this one for a couple of months now. Oh, I'm trying to think. I think I've probably got it around about. February, March, run about that time, but it's a mower I've always wanted to get my hands on, I hate a rat, yes, so you're probably thinking, hmm, that's a bit of a lack of parts, yeah, it is a bit, um, I've got a box, quite literally, full of parts for, the, for it, yeah, um, Ugh, come on. I've got a box in a box here, which isn't what I want. Wait. Um, that's not anything to do with it. Uh, so, let me just put everything back in the box. Uh -huh. So, there you are. We have a box of parts. Um, I have gone through it. I believe everything's there. It's going to be a bit awkward if it isn't, but, you know. <laughs> um, the only thing I have done with it is taken the oil out. Because this is as it was when I got it. And it was sat outside. It happened to have rained a couple of times. In the time I was sat outside. The place where I got it. So there's definitely water in the oil. So that's been taken out. Um, it does pull over. And all that. It hasn't got a spark plug in it. Obviously I haven't seen if it fires or not. Because it didn't have a dipstick in it. So I don't exactly want to be chucking oil all over the place. Admittedly I did do a bit of chucking oil all over the place. As I checked if it pulls over. The oil went bleh out of it. So yeah. We had a bit of a mess. But cleaned it up. Um, well we could do a bit of a better clean up. As you can see there is still dirt on it. But. There's no point trying to do that when you've got no oil dipstick in it. So, let's crack on with this then. Basically, putting it back together again. The, the other thing that I have done, if you've seen on my Instagram, something that resembled gravy or soup was the other one. That was this fuel tank. It was absolutely riddled with rust. It, it was bad. So I have done that in advance. That's been done now. Um, that was using uh, white vinegar. Got that tip off. Uh, guys, playing the tools. Bill. He's over in America. He's over in Texas, I believe. So that's another good channel to check out if you haven't already. Um, bit of a shout out of uh, channels here. So. 
I think one of the first things I'm going to do is reassemble. Well, the logical thing to do would be to reassemble it. So we have got this mesh cover here. Got a small screw already attached. Um, I have spent quite a lot on parts on this one, admittedly, because I had to get genuine Briggs um, parts, basically. Uh, now, where do I put that tool to? There it is. So, I'm going to start off by reattaching this. I've had to get new bolts because I only had one of these. That was a bit of a pain. What is that? Do I think that is? is it? Nope, that's for something else, I believe. <laughs> I believe. Thing is, these are going to stand out a bit. I think they'll be covered by the cover anyway. So it should be alright. Because they're gold for some reason. I don't know why, they just are. So, if you ever need one of these bolts, part number is. Six nine one six six zero. You could probably find um, other ones, but I decided I want to go with uh, OEM. And the packaging is that good, I can't get into it. Oh, yeah. it's a good start. And I've had to buy two of these buggers. This is where I'll find out if they fit or not, and if, if it is the right part. <laughs> Should be. This part, this diagram is wrong. And there's a second one. Is that the same part number? <laughs> there we go. First part on. <laughs> All right, I think next should be the recoil. If it'll go on. Oh, come on. I've had this on before. There we go. Oop, bugger. Ah, that's what the problem is. That wire there. The cable was in the way. There we go. Right, you're on. So that should, in theory, be these bolts here. It is a lot of guessworking. Where bolts go. <laughs> it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, really. Uh, I've got one there. Um, there's only two bolts that go in this. It would seem like there's only actually two bolts that fit onto this. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the carb. I'm not sure what that actually is. Not going to lie. So let's plonk that back in. Is that something to do with that? Could it? That'd be something to do with, because I can't see how that attaches, unless that bracket's been moved. We've just got to figure out how this, oops, just got to figure out how this fits on the moment, people. Um, it obviously fits on somehow. But the question is, how? <laughs> there seems to be a screw that goes in there. So maybe that doesn't actually attach. And in reality, the bracket which I've just put somewhere. Oh, bugger. Hmm. Now, where do I put that to? on top of the engine, right. Maybe that does actually attach. 
into there. I'm going to guess it does actually because I'm about to look this up, you know. Hmm. Maybe that does in fact fit onto there and that then screws into that part um, somehow. That I'm going to have to look up. And I'll do that off camera because, yeah. That is some genuine confusion, not going to lie. And this bolt doesn't want to go in, does it? Come on. Come on. Why aren't you lining up then? Aha! It's getting caught. Right. I'm only loosely tightening that up at the moment. Right. I'm going to go figure out how to attach this fuel, this oil filler and get back to you. Aha, figured it, right. So, took a bit of tinkering around, faffing about, figuring it out. So, as thought, it does go through. Um, in fact, I'm gonna have to take that off again, and I? So, it does actually go through. Um, so, it is two separate brackets. This pit was the wrong way round, which is why I was having faffs with it. So, right. But this little bit here, all right, that clips into this part here, which then clips in like that. Small bolt goes through there. The actual engine mounting bolt, the recoil bound mounting bolt even, goes through the big hole, if I've got this correct. So, I'm gonna now, well, that must be to do with the, I don't know. That might actually be the original bolt because it's got orange on it as well so maybe not i don't know i must have the correct amount of bolts but i didn't realize or something anyway okay all right so we now got to take the, this recoil bolt off again <laughs> this is fun it's all a jigsaw puzzle in it so Right, let's get this right again. So that goes that way round, like that. Right, so that goes in like that. If I've got this correct. Yeah, that's how it works, yeah. Okay. Whoa, okay. I've got to figure this out. Um, yeah, like that. Okay. So that bracket has to go in there i'm not sure why this engine was taken apart to be honest i'm hoping it's nothing too terminal and in fact it was just a case of it got stripped down because the person had plans for it but never got round to it we can hope we could all hope eh? right let's get that bolt tightened in now This is going to be fiddly. This is going to be really damn fiddly now, isn't it? What my... Oh! Thundering heck. Okay. Ah, there we go. Got it. Right. Probably best if I take that part off like that and then do it that way. Because at least then... Uh, There we go. 
That's how to do it. Got ya. Now it's gotta be a case of doing some contortion trick by the looks of it. Okay, got it. Oh, I got it. It's okay. That's the wrong size, I think. That feels loose. That one doesn't fit. Maybe it does. Maybe it does fit. Right. There we go. Right. Now that looks more like a, uh, well, more like a mower, doesn't it? Right. Next step is probably going to be chucking some oil in this, being realistic. Right. Ugh. Got to find me oil next. There's a task. Right, let me get me oil. Oh, got me oil. It's going to be guesswork now. <laughs> Don't know how much oil should go in this damn thing. Um... I'm just gonna put some oil in it and just go by when it registers as full. I think that's gonna be the best option. Might be a good idea to clean my funnel first though. Because my thought process is before I go too far into this, Checking it actually does fire over, rather than having to faff around and all that shenanigans. Right, there's one full funnel's worth. Now I'm going to get on with this. Because I don't want to bore you watching me fill it up with oil. <laughs> Rightio. It's got oil in it. Don't know if it's got the exact amount of oil in it, but it's got enough that it won't cause any damage. Found myself a spark plug. So, my next step is going to be the dreaded easy start. Straight down the head. Take it outside and see if it fires up. I hate easy start as a general thing, but it saves me having to use carb spray because I ain't got that much carb spray left. I need to order some. Right, there's my spark plug socket gone over there in the most inconvenient of places because it's not next to me. That's why it's inconvenient. Now I'm going to apologise in advance, my grass is extremely long, I haven't got round to cut my back grass yet. So, ignore the length of the grass, okay? I need to get round to cutting it. Right, moment of truth, will it fire? I found my uh, muddy patch. That see, sort of sounded like life, didn't it? I think that was a fire. Yeah, I think we're going to have life. I think we're all right. Right. So, I was recording beforehand, but then I heard a noisy urchin with their stupid bike go up the road. I mean, it is a stupid bike. So, I'm going to have a bit of a check up while I'm doing this. Ugh. Okay, is that nothing else? I think there's a gasket there, or not? What is that? No, it isn't. That's just. Yeah, it's just pure metal. Okay. That's disgusting. 
So, as you will have probably noticed, I have now hit 300 subscribers. So, we are going to be having a giveaway. It also does mean that there's long awaited, I mean it's long awaited, very long awaited, I apologise I've been so long. There's long awaited giveaway with the sticker numbers for all the UK stickers that were sent out. Um, everybody that received my sticker last year. Okay. Will of... Uh, I'm going to just talk about this first and then I'll get on to that. So all those that have received my stickers last year in the UK, their sticker would have had a number on the back of it. Do not worry if you have lost that number because I have got a list of them all. Uh, I will be running that giveaway along with my 300 subscriber giveaway. In fact, that is going to be part of this 300 subscriber giveaway, I think, really. Um, on a live stream, so literally those with the numbers, they don't need to do anything. Anybody that wants to join in with the other, the 300 subscriber giveaway, which is open to everyone, all you've got to do is email me. My email address will pop up here. It'll be also down in the description. With just a simple word, giveaway. So I know you want to be involved. You have to be present in the live stream itself. If you're not there, I will give a five minute chance for you to get there. If you do not attend, I will be re-rolling it and it will go to the next person. Simple as that, you just got to be there. Uh, the live stream will be on... Got to figure that one out. I'll plot that up in the, the video. I might even uh, mention it later on in the video on the outro once I'll figure it out. Um, so it'll be then. And yeah, that's it. It'll probably be about seven, but I'll do the live stream itself. So yeah, let's get on with rebuilding this, shall we? Right, so it looks like I've got to undo a bolt here because it's, there's a nice long bar that goes into this. It's proper old. Um, right, that goes, yeah, there you go. Right, so that comes off like that. Then you've got a bar that comes out. And that'll pop out like that. There we go. That's the old gasket diaphragm thing. What's it actually called? Yeah, diaphragm. So I'm assuming that comes out. Ugh, disgusting. That'd be all the uh <sighs> Yeah, that'd be all the oh yeah, that's rusty as anything. That'd be the Vinegar. Because I can smell vinegar right now. Lovely. Get me carb cleaning tray. There we go. Yeah, I've upgraded from a cat litter tray. Now I don't, well, I kind of had the instant. I think a hammer went through it or something. I, I'm not sure what exactly happened. <laughs> it basically died. It got a massive hole in it. So I nabbed one of mum's... Um, Trays, don't tell her. No, I'm joking. <laughs> she gave me this one. It's one of her old ones. So, carb cleaner. Boom. Now I've lost the. The thing is, I did a tidy up in here, and now I can't find anything. <laughs> Hello, where do you go? Oh bugger! Um, I've lost me marigolds. My marigolds! Found them! It's okay, panic over. Ba boom! My marigolds. Right. Right. 
There we go. I think I broke the straw slightly on this, which isn't great. Press on the what? Well, it's not noisy, noisy, but you know, it does still pick up on camera. Right? So, right, we can now put uh, this back together again. Yeah, so just checking I had everything. So, in the box comes with the spring, which is very useful. Oh, blimey, okay. So I've got to construct all that. Um, instructions how to put the damn thing together. So that goes on like... God, blimey, this is going to be fiddly. Don't like it. This is fiddly. All right. All right. Assemble choke spring to diagram as shown. Be careful not to bend or distort spring. Yeah, there's a challenge. Right. This gives you instructions. That's useful. So, it should ping over both sides. I'm assuming. Does it go over both sides? Right, that seems to now be on. I don't know if that's straight or not. Might have distorted the spring, which would be a bit annoying. Ah, oh, you proverbial pain in the backside. That's just pinged straight off again. Ah, oh, I thought I had it then. Right, it's definitely got to be in this time. No doubt about that, All right. And that goes in like that, right. Let's not faff around with the spring any further. Whoa, yep. Poop. Might be a good idea to put that back on first. 
Tell you what, do not enjoy doing that at all. That was a pig. As you probably figured out with the fact that I wasn't showing it on camera. Yes, there was a few um, irritated words. Hoping that I've got it right. Come on, get in there. Oops. God blind me, this is more fiddly than a Briggs Classic, that's for sure. Wouldn't need a Briggs Classic any day. Right, I think we're good. Oh bugger. Right. I'm gonna have to make sure I've got this lined up a moment and I'll again get back to you. There's a lot of getting back to you, I know. Right. That seems to now be lined up. It's just lining the screws up. Not an easy task in itself. Hopefully after all of this proverbial pain in the backside annoyance, which there's a lot of, it's going to be okay. All right. Now to bring the mower back in, because it's still sat outside at the moment, just so I had movement. Right, back in a bit. Right, there we go. Now to put the mower back together again. Right, that bit goes on there. Good boot. Much like a uh, Briggs Classic, yeah, I've got two bolts. I had to find one bolt, because I didn't have it. Thankfully I had one lingering around. Just got to do that bolt there. Whoopsies, that worked. And maybe that doesn't go on there. Hmm. Oh, there is another bolt here, so maybe that is the right bolt there. Must be. That must be the right bolt. So maybe I do have all the bolts. Come on. Yeah, that seems to be going in. Okay, cool. Okay, maybe I did have all the bolts in the first place. It's probably gonna be a 10 in that. I imagine it's probably gonna be a 10 anyway. No, it isn't. Oh, bugger. Maybe it's here, 11. It is like 11. Cool. Check. No, that is not. How 
how it's meant to be, is it? Ah, uh, right, maybe. Right. Definitely need something to hold that cable, don't I? Oh, there is that. Okay. I have got. Something there. Um, I haven't got the screw for that, have I? Oh, you pain in the butt. Got a screw missing. Uh, I might have to see if I can nab a screw from somewhere. That's where my issue is. Okay. I'll deal with that in a minute. Deal with that in a minute. Air filter. Air filter cover. Dead air filter. That looks a bit mangled. Meant to look like that, but okay. This is going to disintegrate. This is going to be fun. Here we go. Right. Oh, you absolute gaffoon. I'm going to set the car back apart. I'm having that much fuss with just the spring. I forgot to put that bit back on. Okay. Now, I could have edited that out, and so you never know, but you know. Right. Ah, falling apart. That's not seen the light of day for a very long time, clearly. All right. Okay. There's the new one in. That's not. Is that even the right one? Hmm. Yeah. There you go. I was about to say, does it even fit? Yeah. There you go. Right. I'm going to go take a car back apart <laughs> and actually put it back together again properly. I'll go back to you. What an idiot. Right, that's that back together again. What a wally. <laughs> Can't believe I've done that. I was having that much faff with the spring, I forgot to put that bit back on. Mind you, there's another bit which I forgot to put back on, but that's not such an issue right now. That was, because <laughs> I had to take it all apart again. I was like, ah. I was that hyper focused on trying to get that spring in place. Forgot to put the uh, jet back in. That would not have ran. That's for sure. Always remember to put everything back together. <laughs> right, back on the mirror it goes. I think I may have found a bolt which will fit. Let's see. Am I in luck? Have I found a not a fit? Didn't have that one. It ain't having it, is it? No, I think it's slightly too big. Hmm. Oh. Success. Right. That feels like it's going in. Right. Like I said, I'll try anything to try to get that to go in place. Go on. It's 
Success. Right. Okay, so the last two bits to go on. Like I said, there's more cosmetic. We've got a bracket for the handlebars. Hang on. Where's my scissors gone? Ew, new. Lost my scissors. I'm going to get into it without having to break it. Oh, no, there. Scissors are there. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, right. So we've got a bracket and a handle. So you might be able to notice that is not the right handle. When I got it, it didn't even have that on it. All it had was a cable tie holding it in place. I mean, that's not exactly the right size, but the bracket that is, but it'll do a job. It's more so that so it holds it. There we go. Now I've just got to double check that this cable is actually functioning as it should now. It's not really moving like it should. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's how it's meant to be. Right, cool, 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 cool. Now, we put that back on. Put some fuel in it. Might take a few pulls. Bear in mind this thing does not actually have a primer. There we go. Right. Come on. We don't want that rattling loose, do we? That should be fine like that. Yeah, okay, okay. So I just had to very quickly transfer footage because I ran out of space on the memory card and give it a quick charge because I was very much running out of uh, space. So I have put fuel in it. So now we find out if it's going to start. Oh, nearly. That was a sign of life. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's try it that way. Come on. I don't know which way round it's got to be. I can't tell. Come on. Come on. It's not liking it, is it? So it doesn't like that, does it? Hmm. Come on. Give me that. Uh. Mm, doesn't. Doesn't smell like it's getting fuel. Have we got spark is the real question here.
Doesn't look like we've got spark. That might have been the initial problem then. No spark. And if that's the case, I might have to come back to this video. Because I don't know what could be causing that. No spark. Okay. Got to reassess. Okay. So, ain't getting no spark. I've tried cleaning the um, thingy majigger. Words not working right now. Um, yeah, I've tried cleaning the ignition coil. That is not still not playing ball so i think i'm gonna have to get a new ignition call for it i think it might be uh donald but at least you've got a video even if it's not with the mower running and at least i've got the damn thing back together again so now i can shove it outside while doing other machines which is the main um thing really now that it's put back together again i can put it outside and not have to worry um yeah so Looks like I'm going to have to get a new ignition coil for this one. Um, not really surprised. Now I know why it was in pieces. And it has been sat outside for, I don't know, well, for a little while at least. So potentially that could have not helped with the ignition as well. But I was imagining it was the ignition which was the issue in the first place with it. So, yeah. So, yeah, we've got so far with it. It's going to have to be a case of getting another part for it and a shorter video where I fix it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be doing... Uh, it'll be 7pm. That's where I'll be doing the giveaway. So, yeah, remember to be able to enter. Just email me with the word giveaway. And you'll be entered into the giveaway. So I shall see you on the next video. Hopefully you'll be a bit more successful in this one. I'm out of breath now. Bye.